The mirror and the first light, the mirror of creation. Imagine gazing into a mirror that does not merely reflect light, but stretches across the vast corridors of time itself. A window opening onto the very birth of the cosmos, to a moment when the universe first stirred awake, when the first sparks of matter and energy began to dance in the darkness. This mirror is not fragile glass, but radiant gold, burnished and sculpted with almost impossible precision. Its surface, perfectly curved and polished, captures the faintest, most elusive whispers of the universe's first dawn. Echoes of events that unfolded billions of years before any human eye could ever exist, before even our planet, our sun, or our galaxy had come to be. When you look into it, you do not see yourself. Not your face. Not your home. Not your planet, spinning silently in the void. Not even the familiar spiral of the Milky Way drifting through the dark. Instead, you peer through a golden window into the infancy of the universe, a time when reality itself was still learning to exist. When matter and energy were discovering their roles. When the laws of physics were being written in the first fragile light, each photon a word in the story of existence, each glow a trace of creation's earliest thoughts. This is the purpose of the James Webb Space Telescope, not merely to look across the vast reaches of space, but to pierce the very fabric of time itself, to catch the light that has traveled billions of years through cold, silent voids. Light that tells the story of the first stars, the first galaxies, the first seeds of planets, and perhaps even the earliest whispers of life. Every detail of Webb, from its immense sunshield that blocks the harsh heat of the sun, to its delicate golden mirrors that reflect light with microscopic precision, was meticulously crafted to capture the invisible. It is a telescope designed to record the forgotten, the faint echoes of creation itself, transforming the most delicate glimmers of ancient light into a story written across time. And when Webb finally turned its golden eye toward the infinite darkness, what it revealed was stranger than anyone had dared to imagine. It was not the calm, orderly cradle of creation that scientists had predicted. Not a gentle, uniform field of hydrogen and helium, not the slow, gradual birth of stars drifting quietly into formation. Instead, the telescope revealed a contradiction, a cosmic enigma written boldly across the heavens, a universe that defied every expectation, that whispered of secrets older than anything humanity had dreamed of. For decades, astronomers had believed the early universe followed a predictable pattern, the Big Bang, the long silent dark ages, the slow coalescence of matter, the gradual flicker of the first stars, and billions of years later, the formation of galaxies capable of hosting planets and life. The expectation was simple. The further back in time we looked, the simpler the universe should appear. A haze of faint hydrogen, drifting chaos, scattered radiation, an empty canvas awaiting the brushstrokes of time. Everything was meant to be raw, simple, chaotic, unformed. But Webb shattered this expectation completely. When its mirrors focused on a patch of sky once thought empty, it revealed something impossible. A fully formed galaxy, alive and breathtaking in its precision. Not a blurred cloud. Not a faint smear of light. But a spiral of stars, perfectly structured, moving in harmony. Arms coiled like ribbons of fire, orbiting with elegance. At its heart, a colossal black hole pulsed like a living engine, driving the rhythm of this ancient city of stars. This was no infant galaxy. It was mature, precise, alive. It existed at a time when the universe itself should have barely begun to organize matter. It was as if the cosmos had skipped billions of years of slow evolution, rushing straight into complexity, leaving the rules of formation behind in favor of beauty and order. And yet, this was only the beginning. For every new glimpse Webb provided, more galaxies emerged from the primordial haze. Mature, luminous, fully structured, as if the universe had raced through billions of years of evolution in the blink of an eye. Webb's vision had not only opened a window into space. 
It had opened a portal into time itself, revealing the cosmos not as it should have been, but as it truly was. Alive, intricate, and far stranger than any the cosmic ballet and hidden messages the shock did not end with the first galaxy. With every new image web captured, more galaxies emerged from the ancient cosmic haze. Mature. Radiant. Perfectly structured. As if the universe had raced through billions of years of evolution, skipping epochs of slow growth, arriving at complexity far earlier than theory had ever predicted. Webb's first deep field image revealed a galaxy more than 13 billion light years away. Astronomers had expected a faint glimmer, almost lost in cosmic noise. Instead, it stared back at them, alive, precise, breathtaking. Its spirals wrapped elegantly around a glowing, dense core, each arm moving in perfect harmony, as if the universe itself had taken deliberate care, arranging each star by hand. Even supermassive black holes, billions of times the mass of our sun, existed at the dawn of time, their gravitational pull shaping entire galaxies, long before the universe should have been capable of sustaining them. The early cosmos, once thought chaotic, raw, and simple, revealed itself as thriving, intricate, astonishingly beautiful. Galaxies were not scattered randomly. Spirals, ratios, and repeating geometries echoed the sacred patterns we see in nature on Earth, from seashells to flowers, hurricanes to rivers, a cosmic fractal stretching across space and time. A harmony suggesting the same natural laws shape life and matter from the smallest atom to the largest galaxy. In the vast voids between these galaxies, Webb detected faint traces of complex organic molecules. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, chemical scaffolds for amino acids, floating freely through space since the universe's earliest moments. Perhaps life itself was not a cosmic accident. Perhaps it had been written into the universe's design from the very beginning, an inevitability seated in creation, awaiting the right conditions to flourish. Then came the image astronomers called, the flower. Six galaxies arranged like perfect petals around a luminous core, rotating in eerie, synchronized harmony. No known natural process could account for such perfection. Gravitational lensing could not produce it. Some whispered, could this be more than coincidence? A cosmic signature. A message carved into spacetime itself, waiting for someone to notice, to witness, to understand. And then came the most unsettling thought. What if observation itself changes the universe? Quantum mechanics teaches that measuring reality affects it. But what if this principle extends beyond atoms, beyond molecules, all the way to stars, galaxies, and the very fabric of space-time. Some of Webb's images appeared to shift subtly over time. Faint structures fade, reappear, and reshape themselves. Spirals twist, cores pulse, and patterns emerge, dissolve, and reform. Is it noise? Or something far stranger? Something alive, responsive, conscious? If true, then we are not merely observers. We are participants. Co-authors in a cosmic story billions of years in the making, entangled with the universe in ways we are only beginning to understand. Webb has not merely revealed the unimaginable. It has forced us to imagine beyond every boundary we once believed existed. It has challenged the very way we perceive time, space, and creation itself. Perhaps we have not discovered the edge of the universe, but glimpsed its memory, its earliest thoughts, its hidden architecture written in light, a story billions of years in the making, a record of creation waiting for someone to look, to notice, to witness, and perhaps, one day, to understand. And as Webb continues to peer deeper into the cosmos, we are reminded that the universe is not a static backdrop. It is a living, breathing tapestry of light, matter, and possibility. 
A story that began before time itself and continues to unfold, inviting us to look, to wonder, and to participate in its eternal dance.